Smart glasses are no longer the stuff of science fiction, they're re-becoming a reality in our everyday lives. And this week, the updates are nothing short of mind-blowing. If you've ever been curious about the latest in wearable tech, then buckle up. As today, we re-diving deep into some of the most exciting smart glasses news hitting the market. From Rocket's highly anticipated glasses shipping in mid-November, to Amazon's hush-hush projects for their delivery drivers to Google, and Samsung teaming up with Warby Parker and Gentle Monster for a stylish Android XR ecosystem, there's a lot to unpack. And if you love staying ahead of the tech curve without spending hours scouring the internet, this is exactly why I do these updates. Let's start with the Rokid glasses. These have been one of the most talked about products for months now, and the hype is real. The company has officially stopped accepting pre-orders because shipments are set to begin very soon, and after personally testing them again, I can tell you that the improvements are significant. The biggest critique from previous reviews was the video stabilization it wasn't terrible. But it wasn't exactly smooth either. Many of you voiced concerns and Rokid listened. They've upgraded the stabilization and the difference is night and day. When you walk around, even in bumpy conditions or while jogging, the footage is far steadier than before. The field of view has widened, the colors are sharper, and the darker tones have much more depth, which makes the visuals really pop. One of the coolest tests I ran was a high energy sprint across uneven terrain. The difference in stabilization became immediately apparent. The previous model had noticeable shakiness that could be distracting, but now it's smooth, even while moving fast. The wider field of view also gives the impression that you're moving faster, which makes action shots feel cinematic. Beyond just stabilization, the horizontal recording feature is a standout. On rough surfaces like dirt or wet grass, where you'd expect a lot of jarring movements, the video remains impressively stable giving you a professional level result straight out of the glasses. It's not just about smoother footage. It's about a fully immersive recording experience that captures your perspective in high quality. Moving on to Amazon, there's been a lot of speculation recently about what they're planning for smart glasses. A Reddit post from a couple of months ago hinted that Amazon might be developing HUD smart glasses for general consumers. Now the post has been deleted, which initially caused some confusion, but here's the scoop. Amazon has rolled out smart glasses specifically for their delivery drivers. These glasses include a single lens display that helps with scanning packages, navigating to doorsteps, and overall improving efficiency. From what we can see in leaked images, there's a camera embedded, which may help with monitoring and reducing disputes or lawsuits. While the consumer version isn't confirmed, the fact that they retesting this with delivery drivers first suggests that a public-facing model could eventually emerge potentially more advanced than their Echo frames. If you're curious about whether I'll test those for you, drop a comment and let me know. Now, let's dive into the big news. The Android XR glasses from Google and Samsung, initially demoed in mid-2025 with a release slated for 2026. These glasses promise a full ecosystem experience that goes beyond what current products offer. While some people expected a Galaxy XR headset alone, Google surprised us by teaming up with Warby Parker and Gentle Monster to release a suite of stylish Android XR devices. The lineup includes the Galaxy XR headset, wired XR glasses, wireless HUD glasses, and AI glasses. Each of these has unique features tailored to different types of users from hardcore gamers and productivity enthusiasts to casual users who simply want smart functionality without a heads-up display. Starting with the Galaxy XR headset, this is the first in the lineup to ship. Early reviews have been mixed. Some users absolutely love it, while others found comfort and usability issues that are hard to ignore. From my personal experience, the software capabilities are impressive, thanks to the integration with Google's Gemini AI. You can reorganize windows, ask AI questions in real time, highlight objects for research or shopping, and even have AI assist with daily productivity. The hardware comfort, however, leaves room for improvement. If Google addresses this with future models, perhaps taking cues from Apple S approach with adjustable sizing, it could become a game changer. The other three products in the Android XR lineup are equally exciting. The wired XR glasses, in collaboration with XRE, allow users to mirror high quality content from phones, laptops, and even gaming consoles directly onto the glasses with a huge field of view. 
This is already a mature technology, and Google's branding could help bring it into mainstream use. The wireless HUD glass is expected in 2026. Bring the magic of heads-up displays into a portable form factor, perfect for both entertainment and productivity. And there are the AI glasses, which focus on lightweight design without a display but retain all the smart capabilities. These glasses leverage Gemini AI, offer live translation, navigation via Google Maps, music integration, and more, all wrapped in a stylish form factor from Warby Parker and Gentle Monster. The AI glasses are particularly interesting because they cater to users who want advanced smart features without the distraction of a heads-up display. Imagine capturing POV video in high-quality horizontal format. It's interacting with AI for translations or research and controlling apps hands-free, all while wearing something that looks sleek and unobtrusive. The estimated price range is likely between $300 to $500, making them accessible while still offering premium tech. With the Google ecosystem behind them, Features like YouTube Music, Google Keep, and AI-assisted reminders make these glasses more than just a wearable, they become an extension of your daily life. Beyond functionality, the timing of these releases is strategic. Apple is fast-tracking its own AI glasses with HUD capabilities, while companies like Rokid and Renio are pushing the envelope with new products. Google likely doesn't want to fall behind, and releasing multiple products in the first half of 2026 would position them strongly in a competitive market. The approach might resemble Meta's recent launch strategy, where multiple devices were revealed at the same time, but shipped in phases based on complexity and demand. Speaking of Meta, their recent releases provide a useful benchmark. Meta introduced three new smart glasses, with Gen 2 shipping immediately, Oakley Meta's taking longer, the advanced Meta displays still pending. Google could follow a similar strategy, releasing the most basic wired XR first, then the AI glasses and wireless HUD glasses shortly after. This phased rollout ensures that early adopters get access to functional devices while building anticipation for more advanced models. It's also worth highlighting the integration of AI and connectivity across the Android XR platform. Gemini AI allows users to interact seamlessly with their environment tree organizing windows, asking questions, conducting research, and even shopping online directly through their glasses. The AI integration adds immense value, transforming smart glasses from a novelty into a productivity and lifestyle tool. With Google Maps, YouTube Music, and AI-assisted translation built in. These glasses don't just display information, they enhance your perception of reality. The collaboration with Warby Parker and Gentle Monster ensures that these devices aren't T just functional, they restylish. Fashion and tech are merging in a way that makes these devices appealing to a wide range of users, not just early adopters or tech enthusiasts. This is crucial because wearable tech adoption often hinges on aesthetics as much as functionality. People want to wear something that looks good, feels good, and works seamlessly. Google seems to understand that, and their designs reflect it. Finally, it's important to consider the broader implications. The smart glasses market is rapidly evolving with multiple players introducing advanced features like heads-up displays, AI integration, live translation, and immersive AR experiences. Rokid, Amazon, Apple, Meta, Renio, and Google are all competing to capture the consumer's imagination and market share. Each company brings its own approach, from specialized use cases like Amazon S delivery driver glasses to mainstream consumer-ready devices like the Android XR AI glasses. As a result, 2026 could very well be the year smart glasses move from niche tech to everyday necessity.